Hello, this is Tom from NeverSender. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the new features that we've got in Camera Bag um, 2022.4. And uh, there's just a couple of super handy um, kind of everyday features that uh, we think that you'll love. Um, first of all, you'll notice when I dismiss that about dialogue, and this happens on startup also, um, when there are new features, there will now be a pop-up that tells you uh, when you install a new version of Camera Bag what those new features are. And uh, you can choose to keep showing it or just hit OK to dismiss that. But I will be telling you those new features myself. Um, the first is additional EXIF info on photos. So if I hit Command-I, you can also um, pull this up from the uh, View menu and go to Media Info. Um, we've added some... Uh, we, before we had this file path and the full size and the bit depth of the photo, but now we've included stuff like date taken, so you can see uh, when the photo was taken, camera settings like shutter speed and aperture, the model, and these are included in EXIF info in photos, so this won't show up for videos as of yet, um, but uh, on like a JPEG that you take with your iPhone or whatever, um, this will that will embed the, the this info in the EXIF section of the JPEG file. Um, so, and then there's also a button, a handy button that show location. And the way we've implemented this is that we'll just make it pop open your web browser and go to a Google map that shows this photo was taken in Interlaken in Switzerland. Um, and so you can pinpoint, depending on how accurate your uh, phone or camera's GPS is, it will show you right where that photo was taken. So, um, handy stuff just to, to be able to see the info on your photos. Um, the next feature that we added is in the, uh, the, the um, preset quick look view. So, um, you know, you can view all of your filters. You can preview them by hovering over them. But then also if you hit this quick look button, it will pop up the full screen preview chooser. And um, this is divided into the same sections as in the, uh, the presets view outside of uh, in the normal interface. But it can be a pain if you are, you know, in the landscape section and you want to skip to the mats you, before you'd have to just sort of scroll till you get there. But now we've had a, added this handy little um, menu button up here that just lets you take a shortcut to any of those sections in your presets. So I can go to my black and white films, I can go to my mats, um, and that's just a much handier, easy way to navigate around your presets. Um, and just a note, uh, so when you save a preset, um, it just prompts you for a name and it just saves it in this generic My Presets. Camera Bag comes with all these different sections of presets. If you want to make your own section, um, the way that you do that is you go to um, File and then Reveal Presets folder. And then you can see in here, this is just how the presets are organized. You can make your own folder in here and then copy any .cbf files into that folder. Um, and then when on a restart of Camera Bag, then it will include that folder as a section here in the presets. So that's how you can make your own organized presets. Um, and then when you're in that quick look view, you can jump straight to whatever section that you make. But um, we think these things will be, like I said, just day-to-day -day handy uh, navigation and info things that can make a big difference, um, especially when you're editing a lot of photos. We hope you enjoy it. And um, as always, uh, if there's ideas that you have, go up to the help menu and choose send feedback. And we would love to hear what you have to say. Thanks.